Hello everybody, I am Sima15 the Dragon Sima here today, and welcome to Mad Dragon Wednesday, where each and every single Wednesday we take a look at an interesting deck involving the dragon typing and play a game or two with it. Now sometimes these decks can actually be somewhat competitive, other times these decks can be just, you know, more or less fun decks, and some of these decks are just so outlandishly bad that you would just be mad to play them in the actual competitive format. <laughs> So, hence the name Mad Dragon Wednesday. Here's a uh, deck I actually labeled as the uh, later, as the deck so that was so bad you wouldn't be mad to play in general. But I feel like this deck has gotten a little bit more power, and that's because of this beauty, Double Dragon Energy. Like I said before, I have uh, actually I have uh, done this uh, deck in the past, but now with guys before Double Dragon was a thing. I just pretty much did Noivern. And Crobat, you know, just those, just those. But now, we have a few more toys like the Double Dragon Energy, the Hydreigon, which gives pretty much anything uh, to less retreat if this thing is in play. If you have two of these things, then that's, they do stack, so that means uh, four less retreats, so Hydreigon effectively also gets free retreat if both of them are in play. That's why I played two of them. Uh, we also play Noivern, you know, Echo Location. That's the main idea is uh, ec is uh, echolocation. You know, if any damage is done to Pokemon by attacks for a coin, if heads prevent that damage, and you do thirty to everything. And Crobat, you know, surprise bite and sneaky bite with Golbat. So the whole entire idea of this deck is just to spread damage everywhere and just have fun with that. That's why I call it crazy bats. You know. Sure, maybe there's more effective ways to play with this idea, but you know, I just feel like this is one of the more fun ways to do it. And you know, this is, dang it, this is my channel. I can do whatever I want. So yeah, um, two shaman as well. Yada yada yada. It's basically your typical bat stack. Uh, energy, and not energy, but a professor's letter. Uh, scoop up cyclone, super scoop up four of them. Ultra balls, uh, an AZ. We're also playing Skyfield so we can give more bench space so we can put more of these bad boys down without worry about bench space because that is a bit of a factor. Um, so yeah, this whole entire deck idea is just to, you know, have Noivern up there if we need if we need to. But we can also have Rush around up there as well. Um but the idea for the most part is just to go Noivern all the way. I was thinking of maybe putting muscle band in here too, but I eventually decided against it because I didn't really feel like there was enough room for me to do so. Yes, I could take out a fighter energy, maybe an ultra ball, and maybe I don't know, a super scoop up or something like along those lines. Maybe someone you could take out the uh, Hydreigon if you wanted to do that. I don't know. If Livable does come when uh Livable comes out with the new format, um I will be start playing that. But as of right now, I'll just be playing with the old format. So yeah, which currently the it's uh, boundaries crossed towards uh, X and Y, burrowing skies. So that's the current format I'm playing it with as right now. So yeah, that's the deck. Um, all right, let's get into a game or two with it. Crazy bats. Uh, yeah, there it is. I do not have, unfortunately. Uh, I'm still doing my daily challenges, so I only want one. Leveled one of the dragons, so I can only use the coin. So yeah. Anyway, let's get right into it. I think this. All right. Well. All right. Uh. So yeah. Welcome back, and um. You know, we're getting right into it. Uh. Let's see. Against Sydney Crosby. I think that's how. You... Yep. Sydney Crosby. And uh, looks like I had to get to go first, which is pretty good. And um, we have a. Not the best star in the world. We can wish our opponent good luck. So I like to do that. I always like to wish my opponent good opponent's good luck. And yeah, we don't have the best start in the world right now, unfortunately. Um, we can spare to get rid of a fire energy. So we're gonna do that, and let's get a shaman. Let's show all the cards. We have a bat. I'm trying to see. I do have another shaman in here? Yeah, I do have another shaman in here. Um, what was I looking for? 
Um, Alright, so let's see. Alright, I have one, two, three, four, five energy. Five, uh, five energy left in the deck. That's cool. Um, hmm. We do not get our Noi back. And it looks like we're facing a Rayquaza EX deck, a uh, Rayquaza Rush Ram deck, so. That should be interesting. Um, crud. Uh, I'm kind of in off position here. Don't really want to do anything. So I'm not. I'm just gonna pass here, unfortunately. <clears throat> I really don't have anything I want to get get rid of as of right now. And part of the reason why I held on to that fire and she was is, is that very reason scorched earth. A lot of uh. Rayquaza, uh, Reshiram's, Reshiram decks come out, and, uh, or as I like to call the deck, uh, Reshiray, you know, that's what I like to call it. So, opponent seems to ha be, also be playing Latias. Okay, that's, you know, that's too unfamiliar. I don't play into my deck, but I can see why he would play it in his, though. I don't necessarily blame him, and I'm kind of nervous because... His deck has a decent matchup against mine, I think. Especially if he plays the uh, other stadium. I forgot what was it called. Uh, Fred. If he plays... um, can't even remember right now. If he plays... Yeah, Shrine of Memories. If he plays that, then... Well, we're going to have fun, apparently. Alright, I already got rid of a few energy here, and I don't want to do more. So, unfortunately, it looks like we're going to get rid of a Noivern here. Even though, though I don't necessarily want to. And we're going to, so we can get a Noi Bat. And we did prize a Noi Bat, so... Interesting. And... Alright, then. To be perfectly honest, I don't think you really need Restram in the deck. I just like it so you can get a quick second one out if you need to. I found my opponent right here. I think my opponent w is going to just try to uh, get the knockout with it. Oh, my opponent's going to go f right straight for the throat with the Noibat and just going to try to knock it out right away. Darn it. Hate when they do that. Hate when they just light center up the freaking Noibat right away. Alright, I'm going to hold on to the stadium. I'm watching him regret that. Oh. <clears throat> Let's see, uh, what can I do here? Um, don't really want to get rid of my stadium here. So I'm going to have to get rid of two junipers here. Something I don't necessarily want to do, but it's something I feel like I kind of have to do at the same time. Put that there. I can't put down the uh, double dragon anywhere just yet. Um, let's put more damage in play. Put more here, so we can eventually knock it out. Let's see if we can get the Shaman. All right, we got it. Put it back there. See if we can maybe get a few more things. Um, no, we don't really get anything else here. Crud. I'm kind of nervous to put down the fire energy because it's my fourth one. Same time, um, I'm just gonna hope my opponent doesn't have, does not have another Lysander. I'm gonna be kind of upset if my opponent does. So, my opponent has a low hand size. My opponent was able to use Juniper, so there's no Lysander coming out this turn. Something I am thankful for. I'm gonna just straight up do 130. Alright, opponent cannot use Dragon Strike next turn, which is kind of important for him. Alright, alright. We're doing something now. Alright. <clears throat> now let's get a slightly bigger hand. Ah, darn. Just hoping for like another Noi Bat or something. I already had, actually, already one, well, one of them already went down. So I think I'm just going to straight up in here. He has a fairly large hand size at this point, so I would not be surprised if he has more stuff up his sleeve. Not be surprised at that at all. 
Um, I'm going to retreat and hope that this thing can stay up for a few turns. If not, um, maybe you should just rework this deck a little bit just so it looks like less stuff in it. I don't think you necessarily need Hydreigons in here. I'm just trying to be fun with the deck, you know? That's all I'm really trying to do. I'm just trying to make it more, as fun as possible. Opponent key. So, and in that de department, I think we have succeeded. I think this deck is a fun deck. Now, is it a good <laughs> deck? Yeah, yeah, no. No, it's not. Um, I feel like I should just hold on to everything, but I'm going to put a double dragon here just in case I do need to, need to attack. So I can be able to do something. Alrighty then. That Jirachi is going to get looked to be knocked out soon, and Rayquaza X is if my opponent does flip heads, which I will not be surprised if my opponent does, I'm able to do something about it. Or, actually, my cor correction, if I flip tails. And my opponent did flip tails. So, alright, um, get energy there. Retreat. And uh, what I'm going to try to do here is interesting. Um, Alright, we do get the that. I'm going to put down this. Mostly because I can. See if we draw a few cards. We do draw a few cards. I don't even know what I'm trying to get here at this point. I think I'm just trying to get a bat. Yeah, I think I'm, gonna I'm just trying to get a bat. So I can knock out that thing as well. But I think I'm just going to sell for this for now. Just kind of hoping for a bat so I can get the knockout that way. Pro bat. I do need to test this list anymore, but some more, but I'm just, like I said, it's just for fun, mostly. Now, my opponent could potentially, oh, my opponent's just going to pass. Now, that is interesting. Alrighty, then, um. Let's see here, uh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do here? Is I have no idea what can I do here. Um, I just have way too much stuff on my hand. Um, I will be taking a knockdown in the rush round, but do I really want that? Do I want that? No, not necessarily. I don't really want that too much. So I think I'm just going to. Huh. I think I'm just going to do more damage to hide that Hydreigon on there and just hope for the best, really. Just put more damage. I know my opponent will be able to retreat regardless. Opponent is able to get the Mega Turbo, which is something I did not want my opponent to get. I suppose I could have done 80 so I could hope for something Miracle in that perspective. Eh, I think that would have been the better idea. Alrighty, um, what are we going to do here? <laughs> I have no idea. I have no earthly idea what we're even going to do here. I think we're just going to attack with this some more. We get our last dragon energy out of the deck. We use Lysander, bring that thing up, try to kill it to the best of our abilities. Burn another super scoop up. It's kind of open. Try to get some more stuff. Hopefully a Crobat. If we're going to get a Crobat, that'd be great. But it looks like we're not getting Crobat anytime soon. Come on. We get another Heads. Come on. What the heck is it? <laughs> I was just trying to find my crowbat. I'm just digging for my crowbat for the, for like like no others. Like where is my crowbat? <laughs> oh man, I was digging for the crowbat so I could get the game. This I can't I, I can't believe it's prize, is it? Oh man.
does my opponent have the stadium? Oh, come on! I'm not terribly surprised that happened, though. I was afraid that would happen. I was afraid that would be the case, but I was just kind of hoping for, like, the, the uh, Crobat. If maybe I played one more Crobat, I would have been a bit more safer, I think. Unfortunately, it just happened to be the fact that I could not get my Crobat. I just couldn't. It looked pretty good, honestly, for me, though. If, like, I got my Crobat, I would have won. All I had to do was just knock out the Drachi there, but I wasn't able to knock it out. That was unfortunate on my part. Oh, well. As you see, this deck isn't really good, but I think if you go for more Tickering, it could be slightly better. I don't necessarily think this deck will be seen in competitive play in general. I think my list was a little wonky, a little wonky but with some more testing, I think there's going to be like four or five card change. Maybe maybe one or two more, but I don't think anything besides that. Maybe you're better off with just going without the bats. And just going straight, Rush Ram, Hydreigon. But I feel like the bats had a little bit more effectiveness to the deck. Anyway, this is just more or less a fun deck. That's all this deck really is. It's just pure fun. If you if you like dragon decks and just like putting damage everywhere when it does work, then this might be the deck for you. But anyway, I'm Sammy Fitzy in the Dragon Statement here. Please like subscribe all that silly stuff if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys on next time.